Hi guys, how are y'all doing today? So today I am going to be doing my updated everyday makeup routine. As you can see I have no makeup on right now so I'm just going to jump right into everything. To start off I'm going to be using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer um, in light. This has been my go-to foundation primer, like full face primer for a very long time. Um, I love, 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 love it. I honestly, like, I've never used another foundation primer because I've been so in love with this one my, like, entire life. Well, my entire makeup life, anyways. So after priming my face, I always go in and prime my eyes right afterwards. Um, I just, like, I think it's super important to just get all the primers on and there. And my hands are sanitized. I'm all clean. Don't worry. Don't want to hear none of y'all bitching about the sanitary needs of my face. We're all good. Um... But yeah, like, I'm filming a little bit differently today, obviously. I'm talking to you guys, not doing a voiceover. I just wanted to see how it went. Um, and yeah, like, I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so, so long. So the eyeshadow primer that I was using, I was just using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now what I'm going to do is, before I do my foundation, I always go in and do my eyes. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to go in with my Naked 2 palette. Um, this palette, like, I wasn't using for a really long time, and, like, I've rediscovered it. I just love all the shades in it. I just find that they go so, so, so well with my skin tone, and I'm just in love with it. So what I'm first going to do is I'm just going to take, like, a flat brush like this, um, and I'm just going to take my Fix Plus. It's not, like, it's almost empty, so I'm just going to open it and, you know, dump the Fix Plus on there. It's not my everyday makeup routine. This is, like, my going out, going to, like, going to photo shoot, doing something like that. This is, like, my heavy makeup routine. I do not do this every day. So to start, I'm going to go in with Copper, this beautiful, like, um... It's kind of got like an orangey undertone into it, but it's like a rose gold color and I love it. So I'm just going to go into that with my brush, which has Fix Plus all over that beautiful goodness. I'm just going to pack that onto my entire lid. This color is an amazing, amazing, amazing base. And I am absolutely in love, in love with this color right now. Oh, and excuse my lashes. I have, um lash extensions on so doing my makeup they get a little crazy um and then i'm gonna take it and obviously do the other eye so that's just like my start off base color just super super pretty very nice color everything like that then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my blending brush and i'm gonna take this color oh lash in my eye this color tease right here and I'm just gonna blend that all in to my crease this is a perfect crease color for me just because it's such like a it's a light tone but it's dark enough that like it makes a big difference in your eyes right so like I love 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 this color so I'm just gonna blend all that business into my crease oh my god these lashes though you guys, like, if you're getting lash extensions, check out my, like, lash, lash video that I did, um, which I'll link down below, but doing makeup with them, I did not expect how hard it would be. I'm used to it now, but at first, I was like, what the fuck, how am I supposed to do this? Um, color, that's just gonna be a little bit darker. I'm gonna take this color Snake Bite right here, and I'm just gonna take it on, like, a flat brush right like this, and I'm just going to be patting it on to the outer corner. And then I'm going to start blending it into the crease. So just pat, pat, pat. Blend, blend, blend. I am going to pull it out a little bit. Just a little bit from the eye. I'm just going to same thing on this side. Just blend, blend, blend. Yes. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same color um, in Snake Bite and I'm just going to drag that on to my lower lash line. So I'm just going to blend that on to my lower lash line here. Keep in mind, like, this is, like, kind of, like, what I'm doing to start. And then I'll go in with my foundation, which will obviously, like, blend it out a little bit around the edges a little bit more as well. So, it's a long, long process. But we'll get through it together. This is what this is about. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend out underneath my eye shot, underneath my eyebrows. 
Can you guys tell that I'm sick? Because I am just being such a nutcase right now. So I'm just going to blend under my brows. Make that line a little bit nicer. Okay, so that's kind of overview of what it looks like right now. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with my foundation. So the biggest thing that I do um, is I'll do my eyes and then I'll go in with my foundation and re kind of like touch up my eyes just because I put so much foundation and contour on and I put so much below my eyes but I hate getting a lot of fallout. So like all these colors, I have a ton of fallout right here. So I just try and do that. I kind of go back and forth a little. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going in with my new foundation that I'm absolutely in love with. This is the Too Faced Born this way. And <clears throat> I'm in color vanilla. I'm just going to take um, two pumps onto the back of my beauty blender. And I'm just going to start by placing this all over my face. I blend this all over my face and then as well onto my lips. Just because I think... Just because blending onto my lips, I can go in with a lip liner afterwards, and it makes it so, so, so nice. Now, I love, absolutely love this foundation. I've been using it for the past month. The only thing I will say is I did not expect it to be a yellow undertone. When I swatched it on my hand, I did not see it, and I got color matched. And it's a little yellow for me. Not gonna lie. But it's nice because it counterbalances all the red in my face, so it makes the contour quite a bit easier and everything like that. It's just something I was not expecting when I originally picked up this product. Okay. Now again, I'm going to be unconventional and I'm going to go in with my with my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer and I'm going to take it onto my mini beauty blender here and oh, this, I need to get a new one. Like I've had this for so long. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to cover everything up. No, I'm not going to be super crazy about blending all of this out because I'm going to go in with my foundation again afterwards. The look I am doing right now is extremely, extremely full coverage. And I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. All on to my zits and problem areas. I love using this mini beauty blender, but at the same time, it's super annoying sometimes. So then I'm just going to start blending all that out with my big beauty blender. And then I am now going to go back in with my foundation just to finish everything up. So I'm just going to take one pump this time on the side of it. The back of it's really good for getting like the base colors into it and everything. But I love using the side of it when I'm going back into it because I get the angles. So. The thing before though, you guys, like this is an extremely high coverage foundation and makeup routine. It is not something I do every day when I'm going to work. It is not something that I do every time I go out. This is like... If I am going to be shooting all day and then I've got meetings all afternoon and I know I'm going out, I will do this. So like this is like when I've got like a long day ahead of me. Okay. So now that we've got all of that lovely foundation on, I'm now going to go in with, <clears throat> I'm going to start the lovely contour. Okay, so what I'm using is I'm using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in light. Um, as you can see, this has been used and abused the past like three months that I've had it. So what I'm going to go in with is I'm actually going in with this airbrush concealer brush that I got um, with a kit from Sephora. And I'm just going to be taking this light color and I'm just going to start with my cheekbones. So you just need to do a fishy face. Find the hollows of your cheeks and I just start dragging and like let go at the end, like kind of like flick of the wrist. You know? You know? Okay. So I'm just going to do that on both sides of my cheeks. With a contour like this, make sure you're taking it in to your hairline.
And then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend. So the key with this is do not rub. That is when you are going to get streaks, that is when you are going to lose the color, and that is when you are going to look muddy as fuck. I learned that the hard way several times. So I'm just going to blend out the line. I want it to still be a pretty defined line, but I want it to be, you know, like that. So I'm just going to do that with the other side now. Like you can put on all the makeup in the world and if you don't know how to blend, you are screwed, girl. Okay. Okay. Now I like a very heavy contour, so obviously this is what I'm going to stick with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, same color on the same brush and I'm going to blend it in to my hairline all along the top for my contour of my forehead and whatnot. I wasn't doing this for a very long time and I noticed such a huge difference in like the way my face looked after I started doing this so I'm a big 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 fan. Do blend all that up. This is one where you need to be able to rub versus just pat into the skin because you're needing to blend it into your hairline. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same color on the same brush. I'm going to take it down my nose. Just, you know, straight down. Straight down the nose. Just like that. Like so. And boys, let me just tell you, if you're going to be commenting on this video going to take that bitch swimming, I swear this makeup is going nowhere if you take me fucking swimming. Okay? That's a promise. <laughs> I also like blending this out with my finger just a little bit just because it is such a small area that you really need to be able to get into. Okay. Okay. So, I've got like the dark colors done. I don't like contouring my jawline with a cream. I like doing it with a powder, not a cream. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this um, professional concealer concealer brush in 43. I need to clean this. Don't judge me. And, you know what? I've played with all of these lovely highlight colors here. Ah! I dropped it. Okay, I played with all these highlight colors here, but with the tone of my skin right now, I'm going to take this middle one, and I'm going to take it... I will place it everywhere where I'm going to place my highlight right now. I'm going to take it underneath my contour just to just to um to find that just a slight little bit. Take it under my contour like so. I'm going to take it in a V shape underneath my eyes. This is exactly why this this steps here is why I don't finish up all of my eyeshadow prior. just patting so I get all of that and then just down the middle of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Super easy. Now time to blend. Just blend, 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 blend. Man, I am getting sweaty. Okay. So, and now this is what it looks like after all of the cream. So as you can see, the contour is still a very like... We're going to blend that up a little bit more. The contour is still a very heavy contour and I love it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with powder. So I'm going to take my shade and light 
palette by Kat Von D. And I'm going to take this shade, obviously, because it's the only shade left. And I'm just going to take it on an angled contour brush by Sonia Kashuk. And I'm going to just do big, large circles along the area where I just contoured. Oh, I put way too much on there. Like, look at that. This is why blending is key. Because you put too much shit on, and then you just look like an idiot if you just leave it like that. Also use a light hand with this because I am not, I am not in like my realm today. So I'm just going to blend it on to my jawline and then I'm going to take it down my neck. The reason I don't like using cream on my neck is because I don't want to get that beard effect. And I am still getting used to blending on to my neck with my cream contour, so I do not want to look like I have a beard. Because that shit ain't cute. Not on me, it isn't anyways. Okay, now I'm going to go with my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend out all of that powderiness. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a just like a larger like airbrush powder brush and I'm going to take this lovely color right here and I'm just going to place it all along the places where I was highlighting. So middle of my forehead, down my nose, Cupid's bow, onto my chin, underneath my eyes. And then I'm just going to also just use it to help blend everything together. Okay, so I'm going to finish up my eyes now. Um, I'm going to turn off the camera to finish up my eyes because I will do a full tutorial on how I do my eyes later, but I did want to just show you guys how I did my contour, so I will be back in just two minutes. Hola, friends, I'm back. So after like 10, 15 minutes or so, Got my eyes done, finished my eyebrows up. Um, all I basically did was I just went back in with that color tease and I just darkened up my crease a little bit and dragged it down below a little bit just to touch it up and then I did my eyebrows. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going in with this lip liner. It's by Essence and it's in the color 11 in the nude. I'm just going to line my lips. Oh man, you guys, I'm getting sick. I'm so shaky. I'm just going to fill it in with the same color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this NYX Simply Nude and I'm going to put this on my lips. And this is in the color Fairest. And then to finish up my look, I'm going to be going in with my favorite blush color. Um, it's like a blush and a highlight. This is the color Nude Rose by Estee Lauder. It's just this beautiful, beautiful shimmery pink right here. And I'm just going to take it onto my blush brush and take it, top it off. And I'm just going to do it right onto the apples of my cheeks, up to my cheekbones. As per usual, my camera battery died, but I had another one charged, so I put that in and I'm just going to finish telling you guys what I did. I still need to put on setting spray, so I'll go over that with you guys. Um, so I did just put on that beautiful like rose gold or what, whatever, what was that called? Nude rose color all along my cheeks. And it's just such a subtle, like nice blush color. So I'm just in love with that. Um, but yeah, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my face with my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff is amazing. The only thing I wish is like I thought it was going to be a lot more like... It's not as oil controlling as I'd like it to be. Like I still get oily but not nearly as bad as I would if I don't wear it, but I still get oily. So... Definitely, like, if you guys have any tips for that, let me know. But, yeah, this is, like, the finished look. Now that I have, like, my full like full filming set up, I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials for you guys. I've got one that, like, a purpley one that I want to do. Um, but, yeah, this is kind of, like, my go-to, like, for going out, photo shoots, um, 
lids is my go-to like when I have time and I want to do like a heavy face look heavy eye look this is what I go to um it's just a very like subtle like very like three-step easy eye look um everything like that oh one thing I did forget to mention is I did put on eyeliner I put on my MAC gel liner and black chalk I put that on just a thin line along my lash line and then I took my Marc Jacobs my Marc Jacobs liner in it's just like the black one I think I like have used too much of it so I can't see the um name of it anymore and I just line my tight line with that that makes your eyes look pop so well I don't like doing white in my waterline because I have a really hard time seeing afterwards and maybe it's just like the liner I'm using but like makes me really uncomfortable so I don't use that but yeah um this is my completed look. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Um, I'm definitely going to be filming a lot more makeup tutorials, so if you guys have any questions, just leave, leave them down below. But yeah, I'll definitely be bringing you guys some more tutorials just with the new palettes and stuff that I've been picking up lately. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And as per usual, I couldn't do this without you guys, so make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And for any video requests, please leave it in the comments below. And everything you'll need to see will be in the down bar below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon.